Hey everybody, it's Ed the Old Tech Guy bringing you in on a little tech guy secret. For over three years, I have been doing an experiment. I have really wanted to conserve my USA tools, tools that I consider something that I can hand down to my children or their children or future son-in-law if I like them. Nah, I'm sure they'll be cool guys. But something that is kind of a treasure that's passed down from family to family. And many of you know that some of these USA tools or USA made tools are what you've decided to hand down to your kids. But what do I do to conserve my tools? Well, you got to use them less. You can't beat them up, right? So three years ago, I decided to invest this much in Harbor Freight tools, 300 bucks or more on Harbor Freight tools. And the experiment for me was twofold. One, are these tools garbage? Everybody on the internet says it. Oh, garbage. They're made in China. They break. You'll use them for a year and the, uh, they won't make it. You'll use them for a week and they'll break down. Well, I had to prove it for myself. I invested my own money years before I ever thought of creating a YouTube channel. I have used these tools for the most part on repairing my own cars, my own small engine equipment, my house, helping friends, and even on my job when I have to rack and stack servers routers or anything like that i'll try my best to bring my harbor freight tools and that brings me to a conclusion of my experiment are these garbage absolutely not are they what you should have in a shop where you're working on cars 24 7 or every day or is this what you should have no, I think you should invest in some better made tools. But these tools right here have never let me down. This is not Icon. All of this is Pittsburgh Pro. It's not the Quinn stuff either. This was years before they brought out the Quinn brand and all the new brands that they're bringing out, I decided to invest in this and try it out. I'll tell you this much. I've been able to beat these tools and I'm happy that my other tools are being conserved and taken care of and these tools have not let me down once. If you're a guy starting out in the trades and you don't have a lot of money, I see no problem with starting out here. I started out as a field technician repairing food equipment and working in a factory and I went and invested and borrowed money for tools that I still have today by the way. But those were some hard times. If I would have had this option, I would have at least tried it. I hated borrowing money. I hated paying interest on that money. I will tell you right now that if I would have had these tools, they would have done everything I would have needed them to do at the factory and on my field technician job. I would love your opinion on my experiment. Please leave me a comment. Was this a good idea to try this? Or was it not a good idea? Was this dumb and should I just kept investing the $300 on more Snap-on, Bluepoint, uh, SK, etc. Should I have continued that? I hope that this tip helps somebody out there and allows them not to spend too much money. Please, again, give me your feedback. Love to have it. This is Ed, the old tech guy, signing out.